why is there so much resentment to people that have retired early? I'll get to that, but I'll also give you six ways to combat that resentment. Um, have you ever heard, guys, girls, you know, when you go to a party or something, it's like, hey, what do you do? Oh, I uh, retired. How old are you? 45, 50, whatever it is, 59 like me, you give that answer, you see those cogs turning in other people's heads, right? They're like, oh, okay. You ever get the response, you're too young to retire? Or how about the response, yeah, well, hey, must be nice. I've heard that one a lot. What is it, jealousy? Is it concerned? Now, in the case of, you know, long-term friends or maybe, you know, family members, it could be concern. Are you doing the right thing by retiring at 42? Could be. Or is it jealousy? I think a lot of it is jealousy as well. Okay? I mean, are they jealous of the fact that you can wake up a couple days, go without shaving? You can wear ratty t-shirts all day long? Um... Who knows? Could be a combination of all that, right? I mean, it's out there. You wouldn't believe how many, how many instances I saw on the internet of like researching this over the last couple of days of spouses having resentment toward the other spouse that has retired early. Um, it was all over the place. I was kind of shocked, to be honest with you. Um, there are other ones who are like, you know, what did he do? He must have got lucky in the stock market. Yeah, that's it. He got lucky. Hey, he got lucky in the stock market, right? Well, you know what? Even if I did, that's the way it is, right? That's life. Happens to some people, doesn't happen to others. I mean, there are other people also, it's like, oh, they hear you retired. Doesn't matter how old you are. They might ask you to do something for them. And they expect you to drop everything and do it right then and, the, then and now. Because why? Hey, you're retired. You got all the time in the world. Can't help me do my thing today, even though I asked you only two hours ago? No. We still have schedules. We still have what we want to do when we want to do it. Now, yes, we do have more time, but does that mean that we can just drop everything and help you? In a lot of cases, no. In some cases, yes. But you know what? That's just the way of the world. Yes, we retired early, but we worked really hard to do that. You know, I mean, it's all kinds of stuff like that, right, guys, girls? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about that. And hey, for you, those of you looking at me at the first time, my name is Dwayne. This is a retirement channel on retiring on moderate income. If you think you might be interested in that, think about subscribing. And also, I've noticed that the majority of viewers to my videos are not subscribed yet. So please help me get the message out to other people on moderate income because there aren't that many channels like this. Please subscribe. And also like the video, if you will. And hey, to my regular viewers, give me some comments. Those of you who have retired early, or even not, just retired in general, give me some of the negative comments you've received over the fact that you retired early, or that you're just retired in general. Have you noticed resentment? Have you noticed jealousy? It's all over the place. Let me know. I'm curious to hear. So anyway, here are six steps you can take to combat that resentment. Number one, and this is the one that I do. For me, this is the one that works. Might not work for all of you. That's all right. Everyone's different. Just be yourself. If they can't deal with the fact that you worked very hard to get to the point where you could retire early, if they can't be happy for you, it's their problem. It's not yours. It's their problem. Of course, be as polite, be as courteous as you would to other people, but just let it go, man. It's, I mean, the older I've got, the less I care about what people think about me. Uh, early on, even into my late 40s, I was a, a people pleaser. And it's a good trait to have, but you realize after a while, I want to be happy for me. So the older I've gotten, yes, I'm still cordial to people. I'm still nice to people. But if they don't like me for what I am, for my position in life, sorry, it doesn't matter to me. Bye. Nice talking to you. Number two, if you are in a married, if you are married, 
have a conversation with your spouse ASAP. If you plan on retiring early, talk it all out. That'd be the worst thing. I mean, there, I read a story of a guy coming home every day or a guy at home every day. His wife would come home and just kind of stare at him when she came in the room out from her nine to five job. She was pissed that he was sitting around doing whatever he wanted all day long because he retired early. Have a conversation with your spouse. <clears throat> Excuse me, very dry air up here today. Have a conversation early. Plan it out to maybe both of you can retire at the same time. Or if one is retiring early, hey, you're doing this, I'm retired, I'll pick up some of the slack by doing this and this and this that you usually do. Compromise, guys, right? It's easy. That's what makes a relationship work is compromise, right? But have those conversations early so you can avoid any resentment from your spouse. Number three, and I've talked over and over about this in my, in my videos. When you retire, you need to retire to something. In this case, if you retire to something, that gives you a whole new identity, right? In retirement. So, you know, and hey, if, you're, if your identity is something you can make money off of, awesome, even better for if you meet someone at a party, it's like, hey, what do you do? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I make, uh, I make tables. Oh, interesting. What? Well, yeah, you know, I got my wood shop. I, I, I do tables in the wood shop. You don't even have to bring up early retirement if it's uncomfortable for you. You've got a totally different identity that you've created in retirement. That's who you are now, right? A lot of people have an issue with identity, loss of identity when they retire. Get something new, retire to something. And that way you can combat this whole resentment thing by just saying, hey, this is what I do. You don't even have to mention what you did before. You don't have to mention that you are retired early. You're just in a different phase and you're doing something different. Number four, if you're finding this is happening to you a lot, or even maybe not a lot, but maybe it just bugs you, reach out to others on retirement forums, <clears throat> the FIRE community, lots of different forums on that. Go on Reddit, check out FIRE. Well, for those of you who don't know, that means people that are retiring early. Go to forums. I went to a couple over the last couple of days. There's a lot of information on people resenting you because you retired way before they're going to retire. Go on to these forums. It's supportive. It'll help you. It'll give you ways of combating this other than the steps I'm mentioning here. There's a lot of information out there, guys. If you feel the need to reach out because this is an issue for you, find one of these online forums. There's tons of people that are retired early and very, very outspoken about it. The good and the bad of retiring early. Check them out. Uh, number five, four, I think I'm on five. This kind of goes along with number one. Be you, you are who you are. Ignore them. If they're, if you're at a party or something, you're talking to someone and they're, you mention you're retired early and they start getting negative on you, just ignore them. Just to, and I know it's very simplistic, right? Simplistic sounding. It works, works for me. Ignore them with a smile, kill them with kindness, you know? Hey, if they can't get past that, move on. This goes along with step number one. Actually, you could probably combine those two, those two steps into one. Just ignore them, ignore them. There's so many people out there in the world, so many that would be appreciative for what you did, for the hard work you put into retiring early, by sacrifice, by saving way more than most people, just ignore them. Move on to someone else at the party. And number six, this is kind of the negative option. If it really, really bothers you to let people know that you have retired early, don't tell them, you know, unless, you know, until you get to know them better, let's say, you know, if you just meet someone, they ask you what you do, say, oh, you know, I do a little bit of this and that. You don't have to be specific. Move on to a different topic. You know, if you want to let them know later on, if, you've, if they become a good friend of yours, let them know then. 
But if you've been getting a lot of negative response to you retiring early, then you'd have to mention it. Again, this is the negative option. It's not so proactive. But if it really bugs you, who's forcing you to say you retired early, right? No one. It's your retirement. It's your life. You do what you want. And that's the basis of this whole thing. It's all about you, guys. It's your life. You worked hard to retire early. You want to reap the benefits and be happy about it. Don't worry about it. It's your life. Do what you want to do. Define it as you will. Okay? So, look at those six steps, guys, if you're, if you're dealing with this. It's all about planning ahead for stuff like this. Because let me tell you, it's out there and it can happen. So here we go, guys. And just remember, as always, we got this.